Fellini is at his best when he's just uber Fellini, and that's Fellini at, at top Fellini level. <music> Juliet of the Spirits, uh, Federico Fellini. Yeah, I was five, and my dad had this screen and a projector, and he would play the, the movie. And there were so many elements in it that I was, first of all, I was gobsmacked by the color. I think it was Fellini's first color movie and he was really having fun with it. I was mostly taken by Julia Messina's performance. I felt so bad for her. I felt like I, I, it was really a study in, in, in dignity, her character. She was really just trying to keep it together, but you could tell she was in great pain because of her, her husband's infidelity. And I know Fellini obviously was married to her, but I think the thing about it that, that again, that strikes me is it's how original it is. It's a work of art. 400 Blows, the kid is so heartbreaking in that movie. I saw that at a very impressionable age too and I'll never get, get the image of him on the beach at the end out of my head. Everything he was going through, I would laugh with him and I, I was very upset for him so it, that had a big impact on me. 2001, I saw it in the drive-in theater. I mean, it, it was like, what was I, four? You know, so that again, what Kubrick did there is poetry. It's cinematic poetry. Citizen Kane, again, I was five years old at a revival theater. I still think it's the greatest movie ever made. I don't know how he did it at 24 years old. It does not age. It's as exciting as it ever was. The performances are mind blowing. Wells' performance as an old man in that movie is mind blowing. He's only 24 years old.